Hey everyone, this is Daniel from Phone Arena with a prototype unit of the Samsung Wave 3, the latest high-end representative of Samsung's own operating system, Bada. It sports the newest Bada 2.0, a single core processor pumped up to 1.4 GHz, 5 megapixel camera with LED flash on the back, which also serves as an LED light, and a 4-inch display. The regular 4-inch Super AMOLED screen seems like taken directly from the Galaxy S editions of last year, down to the 480 by 800 pixels of resolution, the wide viewing angles, gaudy colors and the almost infinite contrast. Unfortunately, it still sports overly cold colors and the pentile matrix, which places it a level below the Super AMOLED Plus display on the Galaxy S2, for example. In short, uh, we are very satisfied with the design. The phone is uh, slim, light, although it has uh, this brushed metal chassis with all the curves at the right places here on the back, which make it uh, comfortable to hold. In addition, it sports this sliding chassis half mechanism, which makes it easy to access the battery compartment. You just pull half of the chassis up like that on rails and you get access to the battery, SIM card and the micro SD card slots. It falls like that here. Very easy and pretty cool. The only gripe we have with the phone is that uh, it's a tad on the wide side, which would make it unwieldy for people with smaller hands. A taller but uh, narrower design approach would have been better, like on the 4.2 inch screen of the Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc, for example. But enough about the design on this prototype, let's have a look at Bada 2.0. The lock screen now shows the weather widget and the currently played song, as you can see, as well as message, email and so on notifications. Uh, the far left home screen, you can place on it all your widgets at once in a scrollable list with the only static widget uh, being the one for your favorite contacts down here. Actually, the latest touch whiz over Bada 2.0 now gets to look a lot like the one on uh, Android, sans the live wallpapers, of course. It looks like the latest uh, touch whiz on phones like the Samsung Galaxy S2, for example. You can move shortcuts and widgets within this uh, grid here which shows you where you can place it and how many cells it will take the same like on the Samsung Galaxy S2 granted the software on our preview unit is probably not final but uh, Bada 2.0 still looks way more polished in terms of iconography and fonts than its uh, predecessor as it should be transitional animations and transparency are ubiquitous now bringing more pleasant looks to Samsung's own mobile operating system Almost every menu has been updated for better visuals uh, from the sliding switches that turn on and off different functions like this one here uh, to the rounded buttons within the applications and there's also a new contrasting color scheme that has taken over. Another big addition to the interface in Bada 2.0 is voice recognition which pops up almost everywhere inviting you to say a command or a phrase, uh, we find it to be pretty accurate, provided that you speak slowly and distinctly. Uh, there's multitasking also, hold down the home key and you get a list of the running apps between which you can switch like that, or you can kill them one by one or all of them all together like that. The messaging app now has a helpful contacts bar under the recipient field from where you can quickly choose a number from the call lock, for example, like that. And also there's a quick way to attach an image, video, or sound file to your outgoing message from here. The email application supports automatic configuration for the most popular online services. And you can adjust a lot of font options while typing the message. For example, uh, you can set the size, adjust uh, the style and even the color of your font, like that. Typing messages is uh, pretty comfortable on the large 4-inch display, both in landscape and in portrait modes. Uh, the virtual keyboard 
actually employs more rounded buttons with extra space between them, which eases the process of typing correctly on the Samsung Wave 3. Unfortunately, Bada 2.0 still doesn't support desktop Adobe Flash, although with a 1.4 GHz chipset, the Wave 3 should uh, have been a prime candidate for that, but alas. The new Dolphin 3.0 browser of Samsung, however, has uh, an improved UI and now a download manager, so it's a change for the better. Text reflow, panning, zooming also work fine. So the only thing you're likely to miss is the full flash support. Embedded YouTube videos, however, are not an issue. So from that point of view, you're covered. The camera interface shares a lot of similarities with uh, the high-end Android handsets. In terms of functionality, it's just a bit different in terms of UI. The 5 megapixel shooter inherits the nice tradition from the first Samsung Wave to make sharp detailed photos with very good color representation. Even in this prototype version of the Samsung Wave uh, 3 we handled, the video capture is 720p HD with 30 frames per second and it exhibits uh, similar qualities, but as we said, we'll save judgment for the final unit. The gallery app has a completely redesigned interface as you can see and it has some cool page turning effects especially if you run the pictures as a slideshow as you can see pretty nice the music player has also received an eye candy boost as you can see here with a lot of uh, transparency and additional animations when you turn it in landscape mode, the interface turns into this cool cover flow like picture. And if you get bored by that, you can call this jug wheel here and choose your favorite song with it. Pretty cool. The video player has also received nice visual upgrades with a transparent interface and now sports the ability to display subtitles as well. It also played most formats with free edit, including DivX XVD files right out of the box, up to 720p, which is becoming a signature feature for Samsung's hand handsets, regardless if they're Android or Bada. The Samsung Wave 3 seems to have achieved its goal of being the flagship Bada operating system handset, and at the same time, it can be considered a threat for Samsung's best Android devices, which probably has been the goal all along. The handset's lack of dual-core chipset or a more resolute display and camera should be offset by an attractive pricing though. Moreover, it is with uh, distinctive enough, thin, light, made of quality materials design. When you look at it, you can immediately attribute it as a high-end member of the Bada family. And to top it off, it even has some unique chassis features like this uh, sliding shell that reveals the battery compartment. The new TouchWiz 2.0 is a big improvement over the previous version in terms of uh, both eye candy and added functionality. But the OS still doesn't support Adobe Flash. When we add, however, the good camera, generous 4-inch Super AMOLED display, and the vast support of video codecs in the default player. The Wave 3 is shaping up to be the best Bada handset so far, and one of the showing Bada operating system has matured, despite that uh, the untrained eye might confuse the UI with uh, the latest touch with on Android now. This was a video preview of the Samsung Wave 3 prototype unit from Phone Arena. For more information about this or other handsets, you can visit us at phoneArena.com. Thanks for watching.